swordsman. The honourable speaker, sir, I was listening the answer given by the honourable finance minister. Now it comes to into two categories. One category is that the poor people who have come and approached, they have got it. Rest of the persons have not, rest of the money have not been distributed since no applications have been filed or claim has been filed. These are the two categories are there. Now the point is, sir, it is also the experience of this, these types of schemes, in the name of the poor people's rich people come. There are so many investments, that's which, which okay. is said to be a Just one minute, sir. Benami transactions are there. Just, just one minute, sir. Now the question is, my question, sir, just... Now you have got the applications, claims from the persons, and you have distributed. The rest of the list is also there, those who have not got it. Then why the ED is not making an investigation, also in furtherance to... That who are these peoples? These peoples are the genuine peoples or ingenuine peoples. Because the, we, these schemes are for the okay. poor peoples. The, these persons should not get any benefit for them. Therefore, why is that investigation? Any, Mantiji, anything has been uh, initiated. Why these peoples are not coming? Sir, the committee with the judge, retired judge sitting and looking at each one of them, he is looking at each one of the claims. Most of the small, honorable member is right, most of the small claimants have all been cleared because their documents are there. It is approved as per a standard operating protocol for each one. Meaning, for the cooperatives, there's SOP, which is judge determined. Uh, for the SEBI control regulated one, there is a SOP based on that. For those who are rejected, it is not rejection. We are telling them, get further documents so that your claim will be all the more strengthened and we can give it. That's a second. Third, sir, ED's name comes very quickly. But I want to say here, <laughs> sir, I want to say, sir, and I hope the honorable members please patiently listen to this. The SFIO is investigating into this entire mamla. There are legitimate inquiries about what is the legis legitimacy of each one of the properties given. What is the uh, business fraud which has happened? Where are those claimants which have not appeared before us? The SFIO is going into a detailed analysis of this and we hope at the end of it we'll find more legitimate claimants for whom we can give the money. So, Honourable Member, be assured, yes, we've got the SFIU's investigation going on. Question number 184, both of you guys, no, no, Srimati.